So the very last food, and the only dry food on this list, is Kirkland Signature's Chicken and Rice Daily Maintenance Kibble. So first off, it's very, very tempting to go for a dry food when you're shopping for food on a budget. But I would still encourage you, even if you're on a really tight budget, to go for wet food if possible. Considering that cats have such low thirst drives, a wet food is a really vital part of ensuring that your cat stays hydrated. And good hydration has effects on your cat's health in a variety of areas, um, perhaps most significantly um, in terms of urinary tract health. Cats who eat dry diets are much, much more prone to these types of urinary tract issues, which could cost you quite a lot of money in veterinary bills, not to mention all of the worry and the pain that your cat would be going through. So in order to ensure that your cat gets the hydration that they need, and in order to help prevent these types of expensive and stressful and painful health issues, I would recommend spending the money on a wet food if you can. If you do want to go for dry food, maybe you simply can't afford a wet food or your cat just refuses to eat anything else, or maybe you just, you just prefer dry food, I would recommend this food from Kirkland Signature. The food contains chicken as its first ingredient, and while it does contain a lot of plant matter and is a high carbohydrate food, it doesn't contain a ton of plant protein sources. It also doesn't contain any animal byproducts or artificial colors or um, potentially harmful preservatives, which puts it a bit ahead of other um, dry foods of the same price. But while the food does have a pretty high quality ingredient list compared to other foods of the same price and type, it's not nutritionally excellent. So the food is about 37% protein, 25% fat, and 38% carbohydrates on a dry matter basis. That's a little bit less protein and more carbohydrates than I would like to see in my cat's bowl. So although I don't love this food's nutritional composition, my cats absolutely love eating it. I actually don't really like having this food in the house. My cats are supposed to be on a wet food diet, but Forrest loves this food so much that she will tear into the bag and eat it for herself. It's kind of frustrating. This recipe is the cheapest product on this list at about seven cents per ounce.